I'm back. Well, what do you expect? Nothing. <laughs> well, today we're going to have a look at some uh, some Dragon's Heart guitar picks. He sent me a letter with some new picks, and I, I looked at the old stuff. Well, it's not old actually. That's the original stuff. It's still available. The decent, big, fat, thick picks. You've seen them. Check out my other reviews. In fact, you can check right here for where it is and go and look at the original Dragon's Heart pick. Yeah, now we got that out of the way, we're going to have a look at these. Should be exciting. But before we do that, I just want you to know, I didn't actually buy these. Corey sent them to me. Hi, Corey. He does things like that. Well, that's good. I mean, they're just simple picks. But there's nothing simple about a pick, actually. It's probably one of the most important uh, things you buy. And don't we buy a lot of them? It's because we never find the right ones. Anyway, these are reduced price. Well, they're not a reduced price. They're a lower cost to start off with. And I think they're $6.95, $6.95 for 12. They earn different colours, random colours. Or not. They're, anyway, they're cheaper than the original Dragon's Heart guitar picks, which are still available. A higher price, but a different type of pick. There are two types. We've got the Wyvern Heart, which is that one. And we've got the Wyvern Scale. Dragon Scales, no less. So we've got Hearts and Scales. Yeah. They're very similar to the original Dragon's Heart. So let's zoom in and go and take a look at them and see what we get for the money. And see what the features are and benefits of this two unit, two, two unit picks are. Uh, they, they look useful. They really do. Now then, like I said, we've got a couple of types here. These ones are the Wyvern Scales. And we've got extra large ones, like that one. And we've got regular ones, like that one. You can see the difference. Hopefully. Let's get it that way around. Yeah, you can see the difference. Okay, so if you like the bigger, fatter pick, well, not fatter, but bigger pick, go for the XL one, or stick to the standard one. Personally, I like the standard ones. And what I like about this standard one is how tough it is. It's very thin, but it's actually very, very tough. And what's great about that is if you play rock, that there is the pick for you. Just trust me on this. So whether you go for the big fat one, whoops, yeah, the big fat one, you can see it's bigger. Or whether you go for the standard one, well, don't make any difference because it's the same material. But for playing rock, they're awesome. They're probably good for other things too, but I play rock. Now let's go and have a look at the other one. Now once again, these are basically the same shape as the original Dragon's Heart pick. So you've got the standard one here, and you've got the XL one here. So I'm just going to have a look at the, the standard one, so you get a bit of an idea about it. You can see it's as thin as that other one was, whereas the original Dragon's Heart picks are much thicker than this. In fact, they're three or four times thicker, at least, and they have a sort of serrated edge or a, an angled edge, let's rephrase that. Now these ones are just as tough as that other one, which for me is really where I need to be. I like this piece because you can really dig in on the strings. I like this piece because it becomes like a, like a standard pick. And this bit here, you can sort of, yeah, lightly go over the strings, so to speak. So you, you've got a, a load of different, uh, shall I say, effects that you can produce from this one pick. And believe me, you can produce those effects. You know, if you want the harmonics and the rest, this is the pick, in my opinion, that can do it. These other picks, there's nothing wrong with them. The, uh, the scale. But I like the heart. It doesn't mean that Scales don't work, of course they do, but this is a more aggressive pick, and I think that uh, you know when you're uh, playing rock, that's the pick. This other type, well, 
that's a more laid back type of guy. And if you like the bigger pick or the smaller pick, you know, you've got a choice of either. Remember in this one, you've still got the XL or the standard. And I think that's uh, it's all pretty cool. Yeah, all really, really strong. Let's go back up. Now the thing is, look, I can't really do a demonstration of a pick. I mean, everybody knows what that is. But all I can say to you is this one here, this heart, you know, the standard one that's very much like the Dragon's Heart original pick. It's pretty cool. And uh, what I like about it is this the strength when you're picking. You can, you can up and down very, very fast with that one. You can with the other, but that's more of a standard pick, like I said. Not much else I can say about them, except that for your $6.99 or 95 or whatever it is, you need to try them. Once you try them, choose either. You'll find one of them that's better than the other for you, probably. And uh, that's how I found it. One's better than the other for me. And of course, if you want to go and try the original uh, Dragon's Art guitar picks, well, you can go to the website and try them. That's a good idea. You need to go to dragonsheartguitarpicks.com. Yeah, that sounds all exciting. And uh, Corey will see you there. Right, Corey? So how would I rate these picks? Well, I'd rate them... Uh, I'd rate this one at about an 8. Maybe a 9. It's, it's, they're awesome, these ones. And I'd rate that one just one point lower. So a 7 or an 8, if you know what I mean. That's just because I like this shape and that shape's less me. But that shape could be you, and this is less me. Less you, should I say. Tony, get that right. Yeah, so, it's take your pick. <laughs> yeah. So they come from uh, C. Whitney Guitars, Dragon's Art Guitar Picks, .com. 100% made in the USA, by the way, if you're into that sort of thing, you know. But they are good quality, so that's it for now. Don't forget to zoom along to www.tonymackenzie.com, where hopefully I'll do a little write-up about them. I probably will. It's not much to say, really. It's very difficult with a pick. Uh, I look forward to my, uh, my other reviews coming soon. There's loads of them. Until next time. Thanks.